Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Beers and Budgeting where we talk about our monthly budget and we have a really good craft beer too. So stick around. Hey, what's up? It's Justine with Debt Free Millennials and I have my husband Kyle with me again today. What's up, y'all? If you are new to the channel, make sure you all hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you never miss another conversation from us where we talk about all things millennial and money and beer. Good beer, too. We are going over um, September's budget, and we've got a really good beer lined up. Tell us a little bit about it, yo. Mm. We have a loot stout here, so it's a little cloudy. A little cool, we have the windows open. I have on long sleeves in San Diego, which is not necessary, but just you do it because you can some days. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to this. It's uh, been told by a lot of people it's quite delicious. Hoot, hoot. Who's yeah. it from? Uh, Stone Brewery here in San, San Diego. Stone is um, everywhere, as we found out, because when I went back home to Kansas, I actually saw uh, Stone in all of the liquor stores. Mm -hmm. So this is their Woot Stout, and they're actually known for their IPAs, right? Oh yeah, the the, the California West Coast style IPA. Mm -hmm. But we are dark beer drinkers for the most part. Eh, I guess we have a wide variety of tastes, but IPAs is probably my least favorite. Mm. Wow. Mm. <laughs> can, can you show that pour? Cause look at it. Look at that compared to mine. No, we'll cheers and we'll let you we'll let that simmer down. Yeah, now. We'll let that simmer down for a little bit. And then while we let that simmer down, we are going to get into our budget. Oh, I'm so excited for this beer. So it's 13% alcohol, so we're going to feel pretty good after this. Mm. And it's uh, aged in bourbon barrels. Wow, so. yeah, I just saw the fine print. Mm -hmm. Ale brewed Pe with... Pecans, wheat, rye, one quarter aged in bourbon barrels. So, oh, dang. Yeah, it's going to be good. Okay, I'm into that. That's perfect for fall. Mm-hmm. Okay, so how do you think we did for September? I don't know. I paid our credit card bill, and it was over $5,000, so it was like, mm, probably not very good. That hurts. Yeah, but we would also, like, well, we booked Australia, and we booked... The hotel in Australia and I was gone for two weeks and you were gone I was gone for three weeks and you were gone for a week and mm -hmm. yeah yeah so. so if you've been following along on the monthly budget reports we are planning for a big trip in Australia in November and we've had some issues with booking airfare so good news is we did get refunded some money but then we had to rebook tickets Hence why we had an abnormally large credit card bill. And just for the record, everybody knows, we pay our credit card off every single month back to a zero balance. Yep. That's the only way that you can be responsible with credit cards. I have three alarms. I have one on my private email calendar, one on my work email calendar, and one on my phone go off on the first of the month at noon. So I don't forget. <laughs> yeah, because that's your... That's your adult task, right? Yep. You take care of the credit card bills. I take care of everything else, <laughs> basically. <laughs> yeah, mostly because then I hit the pay bill button. It's like two clicks and it's done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. So did we, did we actually stay within the budget with all that weird stuff? Good news is you got paid, um, an, a. I don't know if it was a bonus payout or what it was, but you had a larger paycheck than normal. Overtime. Overtime payout, yeah. that's right. Yeah, and it was a lot of overtime. And overtime works out really well in whatever circumstance, but it works out especially well if you're trying to pay down debt. Then that's what I did when I was trying to pay off student loans cool. back in Z-Day. So we stayed under, we didn't, we're not in the red this month. We're not in the red Dude. solely because you had to the, that. the overtime. Boom. That's delicious. Wow. Oh, that's so good. You can definitely taste the bourbon. It's smooth. It definitely has that nutty pecan. Yeah, it does. Do you say pecan or pecan? Well, I say 
I like some pecans, but then I'd say I like a pecan pie. Really? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just being dumb. <laughs> but I could see you saying that. Yeah. Like at your grandma's house. Can I have some pecan pie? She did make me pecan pie. But see, now I you know. just said pecans. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Tangent over. All right, so although we're celebrating, we really shouldn't be. It's just a happy circumstance that I happen to make enough overtime to cover us for this month. Yeah, we got pretty lucky. So in terms of how we did... The electricity bill, as we suspected, was a lot higher than what it normally is in the winter time yeah. because it was just so damn hot for the month of August. Right. So you know you pay the previous month's bill, so that was one eighty nine. Because you and I had a lot of trips in September, we weren't really here, so we stayed underneath our groceries budget. Cool. So. I think that's that all balances out in the end, and then also restaurants and hold fun. On, hold on, I want to go through the rest of this. Okay. Look, here we're lower gas. We're almost spot on. Yep, because nice. I increased it, knowing that we were filling up twice a month, and then restaurants and fun we were underneath, but that was also because we were gone a combined three weeks out of September, so we really weren't spending a whole lot of money here at home. Yeah, man. When I was gone all that time, I eat out at restaurants, and it's nice that it comes out of work per diem and not out of... Right. You spelled Georgia wrong. <laughs> Who cares, okay? We... It's Georgia. <laughs> Gorga. It's, it's say... Georgia. Georgia. Georgia? We don't know, but that's that's where it was. I don't really know what your per diem, how many days you were there. Ten? No, like uh, twelve. Wow. Yeah. 12 days, and then I think if I go back, when was the last time you were there? July. If I go back to July and just take a look. So it's $59 a day. Yeah. Does that sound about right? Yeah. All right, so if it's $59 a day, then we just need to do 59 times 12. So $708 is what you would be getting back. And when I added up what you spent over there was $612. Here's, here's where things get really interesting with the budget. We spent almost $4,000 in travel. Wow. Yeah. Now that included rebooking our flights to Australia and then some in-country bookings for on airfare and doing a whole bunch of stuff like that also that included some of the fun stuff that i did when i was recently in orlando i was there for fincon if you guys haven't checked out what fincon is i did or i am dropping a video um, i'll link to that in the description where i interview some fincon experts about how to make extra cash to pay off debt you guys should definitely check that out yeah. um, and it also included some expenses from when we went to colorado yeah. We got to feed giraffes and feed elephants. That was pretty cool. That was so awesome. Thanks, Lolo. Here's, here's where things get really interesting. We have basically blown our vacation fund. We've, ba we've spent it all. Okay. Good news is we have some money left over from after all of our monthly expenses. We have 2600 bucks, so we could cover that. All okay. right. I think we kind of have to at this point. We have two months until the trip, and we're going to be spending money down there on souvenirs and food. And I know you do get a per diem since we're going there for his work conference, but uh, I'd love to get a an update on our Acorns account. Deal. <laughs> this beer is the kind of beer that you would have one and then you're done. This is not something that you would be drinking constantly, right? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, for me and my tiny little old self, I don't think I could handle more than just one glass. Beer's delicious, but we have $750 in acorns. 751. 43. Okay. So. That's nothing to snooze at. No. That we have from income, we can apply that towards our vacation fund. 
Yeah. Okay. I want to talk to you about FIRE. What do you know about FIRE? I know what it stands for. It's an acronym. Yeah. Financial Independence and Retiring Early. Yep. So this is a new concept that... It's not new, but it's new to me, really. I hadn't really done a whole lot of digging around on fire before. Yeah, I guess you told her about it first, like a year ago. <laughs> Did you That's now? Right. Did you? And what'd you tell me? I said, hey, have you heard of fire? You're like, no. It's like, great. See you later. <laughs> and that was the end of the conversation? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, well, we're reintroducing the conversation because after FinCon, I met a ton of people who are in this fire community. This is a thing. Um, I also heard Mr. Money Mustache speak at Go FinCon, ahead. who has a blog, and he's retired. He's 40-something, I think, now. He's been retired for several years. Yeah, I think a decade, at least. And it just got me thinking about what we're doing with our current spending situation and where we'd like to be. You know, you talked about how we want to be able to do things that we love and not feel like we're constantly having to be in this race to, I don't know. What are your thoughts? I like the idea of fire. I, I could see it being very challenging living in a place like San Diego where the cost of living is so high. It would definitely be a challenge. I like what I do. My, my The things that I don't like doing are like the hours upon hours of training modules and videos I have to do that just are mind-numbing. Yeah. Uh, the the commute to work, the amount, the, the lack of common courtesy on the roads is just unbelievable. Those two things I would love to eliminate and just uh, fire would get us there. Yeah. But I don't know that the, at the end of the day that... Do what you love. Yeah. And for those of you who don't know, aside from Debt Free Millennials, I also run my own marketing consulting business. I've been doing that for two years now. Yeah. Which is crazy to think about. And when you are an entrepreneur and trying to get your own clients, your income is constantly up and down. So I love the idea of bringing in multiple revenue streams and I love the idea of saving more and more of our paychecks and putting it towards what would hopefully be our own FIRE account or however you want to phrase it, yeah. our own FIRE goals. Because at the end of the day, I don't want us to feel like we need to be working until we're 60 plus years old only to enjoy our retirement for just you know 20 years. I plan on being uh, I plan on living to be a uh, hundred years old in one day. Yes. So, if I retire at fifty, I still have fifty years left. To do like I would love to spend at least a year pulling an airstream around and living out of an airstream and going to see our nation's national parks. Our nation's national parks. Yeah, nation's national parks. Dude, I think that sounds like an amazing idea. <laughs> I would want to do that if we end up doing this fire goal. Hello, insect. All right, well, let's maybe crack another beer and go sit in a hot tub and talk about fire and how we're going to get there and what's realistic. Yeah, I, I just wanted to let you know the seed has been planted. I can't wait to have more open conversations with you about this, and I'm so glad that you feel the same. Okay. Deal. Okay. All right. I would love to know in the comments below, what are you guys doing to um, incorporate more savings into your budget? Are you transferring that out into a separate retirement account or a separate savings account? What do you use? Let us know in the comments below. Have you tried Woot Stout from Stone Brewery? Will Wheaton. W what? <laughs> Will Wheaton. That's what. Is, that's why this beer is made. Will Wheaton. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nerd royalty, Will Wheaton, as they describe on the bottle. Mm. So. All right. We'll catch you guys soon. See Bye. Ya.